Hi guys, I'm out again. I have a spot of wild camping, and this time I'm out with my friend Paul. Oh, I've got to see a round moat there, you know. Where we are today is it's not a secret location, but we're we're next to the River Wonsbeck, just a few miles from our, our home, um, and it's just for an overnight. Eh? Paul's got a new tent he wants to try out. It's a Van Gogh Nix 200. And it's the first time you've set it up as well, so. Yeah, first And you've been on, what is it, 20 minutes now? <laughs> and I'm going to camp over here, but I'll be in a bivvy under a tarp. Not that it's going to rain or anything. In fact, it's not forecast to rain, but I'm still going to put a tarp up because it's sods low. You know, if you don't put a shelter up, it usually does rain. And if you're wondering where we're camping, it's on the site of an old tip. And everywhere you look, there's actually there's quite a few resources, there's a few bricks. But they quite easily make like a, a half for a fire, make a bit of a surround. It's well spacious inside as well. Well, have a quick look then. It's a sensible size as well for, even though it's a two-man tent, it's a spacious one person. Good tip to do is put your tent on top of a, a waterproof membrane. Oh yeah, it, it, because these lightweight tents as well, the, they're dead thin, the bottoms on them. And you want to give them a little bit of protection by putting a, a footprint underneath. Why pay silly money for these Hillyburg tents when something like this will do the job? You know, especially if you're just going to be camping in the woodlands and places where, you know, you haven't got extreme weather. But I mean, there is a place for them Hillyburg, you know, these technical high-end tents, you know, there's always a place for them. But you, you pay a premium for that. And because they're a little bit more lightweight, you might only be saving a few, you know, a couple hundred grams in weight and you're paying a lot of money for that. So that people that know me, know that I'm all about cheapness. I'm cheap and cheerful. And that's Paul blowing up his blow-up doll there. <laughs> have you brought Philip out with you, have you? <laughs> How was it that everybody that's got a blow-up doll calls it Philip, huh? <laughs> Philip a hole. Right, so I'm gonna get my top set up next to your tent between them two trees. Right, we're all set up now. We'll give you a quick look around. You're the man. <laughs> oh, look at this. We've got a nice wood pile here. And we've got a, an excellent barbecue area that Paul made. It's got better skills than me. And what we've got here? We're proper bricklayer. We've got matching cups, nice little folding pot stand. It's got the, the lid, similar to what I made. With them cheap um, mess tins, I've only bought like 3 99 or something like that. But it's very thin aluminium, and that's mine, very similar. Twins. Twins, aye. Eh? Lid made out of exactly the same materials. And I've got me Crusader, rest of me Crusader mug and cook set in here, and birds and ends and whatever. You'll see them all later, because we're going to be cooking soon. And there's Paul over there getting all fairied up with his lights. A bottle of wine. Bottle of, hey, that's the way to be on, you know. We're going to get the fire going because it's uh, we're cold and we want some food. So we're just going to use these wax burners just to keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. That's it, the old saying. This is where it's This is where it's fucked. You know, I'm doing a wild camping. You know, it makes sense. You know it makes, makes sense. sense. Bush. You know it makes sense. Ah, oh, that's a nice bit of heat coming off there. That's gonna have some nice coals, that like. Got plenty of sausages and chops. Paul's got loads of food as well. This is where it's at. Get up and do the wild. You don't like journal off his bushcraft, are you know that? <laughs> Actually, I saw you once before at Rothbury. You know, who was that? Ralmoat? Do you know, you know what, right? You're the real Ralmoat. I got so much shit for that. Yeah. I, went, I went shopping. I went shopping in uh, the old Morrisons in Morworth. And uh, it was a time when he was on the on the run. And uh, I had my trolley at the, uh, at the checkout. And I seen two, two of these lads that were selling... Um, Drugs? <laughs> <laughs> Insurance and stuff like that as they do. <clears throat> and he was, I see him on Cloptus, and he, he nudged his mate, and he went, look, look at him over there. 
And I was, yeah, we're gone. So anyways, got me shopping, went through, trolley, back of the car, put the bags in the back of the car, and I looked round, took the trolley back, and there was about 20 people in a semicircle, all pointing and staring. There he is, there he is. I was just like, oh my God, the joke. So in the end, I had to go and, uh, well, I did, off my own back, I went to the police station and I says, yeah, that's my car registration plate. This is who I am. That's where I live. I'm getting, you know, even like sitting at junctions, like in traffic, people are looking and, and like flipping out, like pointing. I couldn't believe it. Like you thought you were a rock star or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a celebrity, but for the very wrong reasons. Aye, for the wrong reasons. Aye. It's just where it is at. <clears throat> Aye, we're cooking on gas now, I mean wood. And uh, look at that, man, that's just amazing. Get out and do a bit of wild camping. You know it makes sense. You know it makes sense. Caddy knife, lad. Was it a Mora? Mora, aye. Is it, a, it looks like the clipper, doesn't it? Ah, quite nice. Excellent bushcraft knives, eh? Comes with the whole sack. Yeah. Very good. Still got the price on the bar. <laughs> 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 oh, I wish I brought some brewing sauce. I forgot all about that. I've got loads of red sauce. Monkey's blood, get some monkey's blood on them. Oh, that was for ice creams, wasn't it? Yeah, it's good. Aye. But they're big. So How come yours is bigger than mine? <laughs> I've just got them little poxy chipolata things. And you've got like proper man meat. Look at that, man, that's where it's at. Proper. Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire. Is that what well, they made in Lincoln, were they? Aye. <laughs> Have a cigar, you're going to grow far. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any better, you know it makes sense. Exactly. Damien, would you like my smoky? Yes, I would, Paul. <laughs> Immensely. Not a problem, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant acting, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that, man. Fantastic. Nice, nice, thick and meaty. That's proper meat, that. Paul's sausage. You're not going to get this. Sitting on your couch watching YouTube. Well, it's getting a little bit cold now, and uh, that fire we're finished eating, we're absolutely stuffed. Me and Paul here now we're going on a bank job. <laughs> this has no access to him. I'm not going to bed yet, but it's all ready for us. I've got my thermal long johns, which I'll put on the last minute before jumping in. I've got this like little pillar thing, getting soft in my old age. I've got the, I'm inside my bivy obviously, and I've got this Mylar reflective sheeting in there. And it's just important to have a, a nice meal before you go to bed and a hot drink because it does help to keep the, because you haven't got a heat that's keeping you warm. The heat that you, keeps you warm is the heat that's generated by your body. You know, that's what keeps you warm. And what this, what your sleeping bag and your microclimate does is try to keep all that heat from escaping, locked in, and keep you warm. Strange that. Heard it. Is that a fox? 
Space Brothers that's going to come and visit with the night. Oh, if we get abducted, it'll, uh, it'll be because of your tent, you see them lights? That's just going to attract them, isn't it? That's going to attract any extraterrestrial activity. It's a UFO highway. More calling Olsen. Do you read me, Olsen? Come in, Olsen. Nanu, Nanu, Shazbad. I were talking rubbish, you know, have you noticed? Our well, thing is, you know, we've had lots to eat, we're happy, we're content, our camps are set up, you know, it is starting to get chilly, but there's still a little bit of drinking to be done. You know, just a couple of pints, you know, just chilling out and talking rubbish and that sort of thing. And there's already been a few weird noises as being like a fox. Uh, we're listening for some activity, any strange paranormal activity tonight. So if we hear anything, anything strange, anything unusual, we'll get back to you. But for now, we're just going to like watch the f watch watch the bushcraft telly and chill out. And if we hear anything unusual, get back to you. Morning. Well, I'm pleased to say that sun, mine, because I was freezing last night. It was one degree, and I was at the transitional zone between what we bag is basically it's 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 lowest rating, and uh, and I kept waiting it up because of the cold, and I'm just so pleased, you know, when I opened my eyes and, this, and I seen that sun, it was just uh, I had to get up. This is a, a nice little spot to come camping. Give us a little tour. We're already starting to pack everything away now. Seen it all last night. But that's where we had our little fire. That's where I was. I'm not gonna waffle, but I'll just put my things away slowly. You know, we might stay for a little bit longer, maybe have another coffee or something like that. But we'll be getting away shortly. And then just, I'd like to thank you all for coming along and, oh, the right dick's in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. We're all packed up and we're going now. It's been a good one, hasn't it? Have you got oh, anything? Fantastic. Aye, really good night. A few beers, good crack. Aye. Good T food. Loads of beer, plenty of waffle, talking shite as usual. Oh. Me, <laughs> me especially. Aye. Right, so we're going to get away now and. We'll catch it all in the next one. Aye aye. Boosh! Get out and do a bit of wild camping. You know it what makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs>